Some common issues include compliance and regulatory issues, um, you know, specifically meeting industry-specific regulations and compliance standards such as GDPR, HIPAA, or SAC2. Uh, these can be quite complex, in a, especially in a cloud environment, particularly for businesses operating across multiple jurisdictions. Uh, data privacy, closely related to compliance and regulatory issues, is another very important challenge and topic. Ensuring data privacy, especially when data is stored across various cloud services or regions, is a top concern for businesses. One is the whole governance, right? The procurement and uh, making sure you're getting the most out of the different uh, clouds. Second is the, the the management of it, the day, what do we call living with it, right? The day two operations. So how do you achieve uh, a single pane of glass across the different clouds, being able to see them in, in one view uh, and being able to manage them, right? In a number of perspectives. Skill gaps and training is another top challenge. Uh, we find that adopting cloud technologies often requires new skills and expertise and businesses struggle to find and retain employees with the necessary knowledge and experience in areas like cloud architecture, DevOps, and cloud security. Today, if you're building applied AI, building ML models, right? Machine learning models or building any AI model, you need the power of cloud, right? Because you're, you're ingesting a lot of data, you're using that data to, to train a model, create a model, fine tune a model and, and run it, right? And deploy it. And that requires a lot of resources and compute storage. And I don't think there's any better place to do that than cloud. That's what cloud is meant to be. Gen AI enables personalized and customized experiences across multiple digital platforms and cloud strategies must adopt and leverage Gen AI and machine learning capabilities to deliver tailored services, content and recommendations to meet the preferences and expectations of Gen AI users. Yeah, this uh, <clears throat> specialist insurance company, they they awarded us uh, uh, to help them and partner with them to really outsource, modernize, and transform their IT. So this is uh, their applications, application support, uh, infra and ops, and so on. And really what they challenged us and what they asked for our help is to significantly reduce the cost up to 30 to 40% in three or four years. And so in order to help them achieve that outcome, one of the biggest levers is looking at their application footprint. Uh, their application footprint uh, primarily were on-prem, so it's a lot more costly and their data center costs were pretty high. And so they really wanted to move it to the cloud. The second is go through the exercise and not just move things and modernize the cloud, but also rationalize and assess them. So we actually went through the first step of helping them create their cloud strategy and roadmap, where we looked at the 800 apps, analyzed them, understood the key business outcomes, the domains, and really made sure we had the right R strategy. Is it a rehost? Is it a replatform? Is it a refactor? Is it a total rewrite? And uh, modernize it. So we did that. So we did help them create the right strategy for each app. And then we created the roadmap because they wanted to get some quick wins to really fund the additional migration and modernization and also uh, to get most of their apps out of their data center since they were closing it in a couple of years. An interesting area where I see uh, our clients benefit from cloud-based Gen AI solutions is in the casualty and property insurance space, particularly in the claims area. Uh, we built a solution whereby we arm uh, claims adjusters with a camera that takes pictures of possessions of our customers after a disaster or after a loss has occurred and be able to shop uh, online from multiple sources for replacement of those items. This helps insurance companies uh, cut cost, time, and then it also helps customers with uh, customer satisfaction because they can get their positions replaced much faster than they would have anticipated in the past. Focus on customer experience. Ultimately, success in the cloud depends on the, meeting the needs and expectations of your customers. So I would prioritize customer experience by you know, delivering intuitive interfaces, responsive support, and innovative solutions that basically address their pain points and add value to their businesses. 
since most companies, enterprises have been doing cloud and most of them are trying to look for more value uh, out of the cloud, I think in order to do that, you actually got to go what I call two, two steps back, right? You need to look at your business, right? You need to rethink, reimagine how you do your business, whether it's underwriting claims or customer service. You need to rethink uh, how you do it and then see how technology tools like uh, cloud or AI could help enable that. You, know, you need to form strategic partnerships with cloud providers, technology vendors and ecosystem partners, uh, which will allow you to get access to specialized expertise, resources that you may not have in-house, as well as market opportunities that you didn't know existed. Uh, collaborate with partners to co-innovate, co-develop solutions and create unique value propositions for your customers.